Hi, this is Ted Bowman. I'm Ted Bow on Drupal.org, and I'm with Six Mile Tech Drupal Training, and I'm introducing the Entity Forms module today, and this is a module I made, which is, you might think it's similar to Web Forms, and the main difference is that it uses regular Drupal fields. So any field that you could attach, like an image field or an entity reference field or a geo field that you could attach to a node, you can attach to these forms. So we're going to make a simple form today to show you what it can do. Okay, this is our test site and we're logged in with uh, permissions to administer entity forms right now. So I'm going to go to structure, entity form types. So this is where you'll see a list of current entity forms and then also the add entity form type. So I'm going to add a new one and I'm going to call it test form 2. And we can add some instructions here, so form instructions. And then there's a bunch of settings down on the bottom, but just for our purposes, we're going to leave the statuses open and we're going to let authenticated and anonymous users access the form. And then we're not going to make it draftable, meaning they can't save a draft. And that's all we'll do for right now. So we'll save it. And so now as soon as you save it, you're taken to the Manage Fields tab. So this is where you would add fields to the form. This is a, the exact same screen you would see on a node content type if you want to add fields to say a blog, an article, or a basic page. So we're going to add an existing field that we already have called Text Field. So you can add the same fields that you have on a node or you can create new ones. So we'll save this. We'll make it a required field. So now if we go back to the list, we have our new form here, hit the submit link, and we'll see the form like this. So it's submit it, and gives you the default message. You can change this message that shows up on the screen. So we'll go back to the list screen. So here's a test form we've already made. You can see some of the options that it has. So one option you have, like you do with nodes, is you can add a menu item directly here. So we added a form one menu item. So you can also set URL aliases. So if we look up at the top of the home page here, we have a form one form. This is the menu item we had made here. So also to look at a slightly more advanced form, we have a product support form. And if we see the fields here, we have a request type, which is term reference, and then we have a product, which is a node reference. So if you're filing a support for a particular product, and then you have the details. So if we go back to entity form types and we hit the sub submit link for this one. So change the request type. These are taxonomy fields. And if I do warranty service, it gives me a hierarchy. This is the hierarchical select module. And then we have an entity reference that references one of our nodes. And then we put our details in here. So once we've submitted the form, we can customize the message that the submitter will see. And then as the admin, if we want to go back to look at the form submissions, on this page there's a submissions link. And by default, you have just a regular simple submission tells you who submitted it, when, and then you have a table that actually puts all the fields in here and this can be controlled via entity view modes and I'll show that in a later video. And this view also has CSV and XML exports that is provided by views data export and so this allows you to export a large amount of submissions to say like Excel or somewhere else if you wanted to analyze them or if you needed them to put them into another data source. So this is just a regular view that you can override, and I've already made an overridden version. So if I go back to editing the entity form type, I can go down to submission views, and it lets me select any view that uses entity forms. And I'm going to change it to support requests. And you can also change the view that the user will see when they're viewing their own submissions. So I'll save this. And if I go back to the submissions, I can see now that I have a request type filter here so I can filter by a certain type of request if I only want to see um, warranty request 
or if I want to see spec questions. And so you can override this. I would suggest cloning it and then making changes to it. And when you're looking at the form as a submitter, you also have view your previous submissions, which is also a view, and you can override this view to show it however you would like. So that's a brief introduction to Entity Forms. There's a lot more to it, but uh, we'll cover that in other videos. So go check it out on Drupal.org, download it, uh, let us know what you think, and check out our other videos on sixmiletech.com. Thanks. <laughs>